Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Tayana. If you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you are returning, hey boo. So today we're gonna get right into the video. I'm gonna show you guys another set that I did using poly gel. This is only the second time doing my nails. I ordered a few more things, so I'll make sure to link everything down below in the description box for you guys. I'm just starting off by prepping my nails, so I'm pushing my cuticles back. Um, I'm gonna buff out the shine to my nails, and then we're gonna get right into it. And this is just a hand drill set that I ordered on Amazon. I believe it was $19.99. I'll make sure to link that down below. You don't necessarily need a drill to do your own nails, but I find that is a lot easier. Um, but if you can't get a drill set, that's fine. You can just use a hand file. And these are my natural nails, all prepped and ready to go for this set. I pushed my cuticles back, I cut them down, and I buffed out the natural shine to my nails. What I do next is take some nail dehydrator, again, everything linked down below, and also I'm going to apply a base coat to my natural nails to help the poly gel stick a little bit better. After I apply the foundation coat, I do go ahead and cure it in my UV lamp for 60 seconds. Today I'm using dual forms for my poly gel set, so I'm just matching the correct size dual form to each finger and setting them aside. Uh, when you are sizing it to your finger, you do want to make sure it fits from sidewall to sidewall. You don't want to go with a smaller dual form for your nail. It's just not going to turn out right. So if anything, if the dual form is a little bit bigger than your nail, you do want to file it down just to fit a little bit better. Today I'm going to be using my Model 1's Poly Gel. This is in the color 004. And I believe the name of it is Light Apricot. It's a super pretty color. I'm going to be using alcohol for my slip solution. And I did go ahead and order this little magnetic stand. I believe that this is usually used for press-on nails. But I thought I'd order it. I did see it in another video that it was used. And it just looked like the application process went a lot smoother. There's less poly gel that sticks to your hands or your nails when you're using this. So I just went ahead and applied some poly gel to the dual form and I'm just kind of forming it out in the shape that I like. Um, I think I did add a bit too much. I'm still getting the hang of it. Like I said, this is only the second time that I'm doing my nails. So I'm still learning as I go, still learning a lot as far as how much to put on each nail. Um, if you do it too thick, sometimes the poly gel won't dry all the way, and then if it doesn't dry all the way, it's just gonna end up breaking off your nail. So you don't want that. You don't want it too thin, but you don't want it to the point where it's not going to dry. And I do also find that it comes out a lot better when you make it a little bit thinner around the cuticle area. Um, it just looks a lot nicer and applies a lot easier. You won't have excess poly gel like oozing out the sides or anything like that if you apply it a little bit thinner towards the cuticle area. When it's in the shape that I like and also the length, I simply take it off the tack and apply it to my natural nail. And make sure you have that foundation on your natural nail and it's cured. This is just gonna help that poly gel stick a little bit better to the natural nail. And I'm just trying to apply it as straight as possible and then I'll go ahead and take that slip solution and a smaller brush and just wipe away the excess around the cuticle area. You also want to flip your nail over and take the slip solution to get underneath to just make sure that shape is still looking good underneath as well. I did forget that step with my thumb but I did get it on the rest of the nails that's okay but after that you just want to go ahead and cure it in your UV lamp for 60 seconds the top and underneath once my nail is cured I just went ahead and kept the dual forms on each nail until I finished my whole hand and then I'll pop them off all at once so just moving right along to the next nail so I'm just repeating the steps shape it out to the shape that I want make sure it's a little bit thinner around the cuticle area so it applies better on your nail mm -hmm. 
And before you stick it on your nail, make sure to apply that foundation coat, cure it for 60 seconds, and then you're good to go to apply it to your natural nail. Once it's stuck to your nail, this is the step that I forgot on my thumb. You can just flip it over, take some slip solution to make sure it's all nice and shaped out. And then just go ahead and cure it in your UV lamp. 60 seconds on the top and then make sure you flip your hand over to also get underneath the nail as well just to make sure everything is super dry all right so now we have two nails done um, i really think that the dual form method is very easy especially for beginners of course it's going to take some practice a couple times this is my second time doing my nails um, I have seen the lazy girl method. I believe that's what it's called. I've seen a couple of videos on that So maybe I'll do a video of me trying that method out um, But as far as the dual forms, it's very easy very simple So I'm literally just repeating the steps and I'll just continue to speed the clips up until my hand is finished I'm gonna do my other hand off camera and then I'll come back to show you guys how I Fancied them up, added some jewels, blinged them out, made them extra cute. So once my whole hand is all dried and cured, I'm going to go ahead and pop off the dual forms. And this part is so satisfying, seeing the dual form coming off and seeing how perfect the nail looks underneath. And these are how they're looking once you pop the dual forms off. The next step will be just filing them and restoring that nice perfect shape to them. And I am taking a little pad with some alcohol on it and just wiping down each nail. The poly gel will leave a slight like tacky residue on it so you don't want it to clog up um, your nail file. And then I'm just taking my file and shaping them out. I believe I'm using a 180 slash 100 uh, grit file and restoring that shape with the file is super easy the poly gel is very easy to file down without all that extra work and I do take my drill file to get closer to my cuticle area just to make sure it's nice and clean um, and the edges are well shaped this is where I find that it's a lot easier if you do have a drill set so you can get closer to those areas versus using a regular file.
So once it's all filed, this is how they're looking. The edges are super sharp. The cuticles are nice and cleaned up. I did go ahead and do my other hand off camera. So the next clips are just going to be me um, spicing them up a little bit. So you can watch what I do here. I did order some new rhinestones and gems from Amazon. I went ahead and also got like a gem glue as well. So I'll show you what I'm using. So this design was super cute. Um, my inspo was just to put a bunch of um, smaller gems and bigger gems just all around the whole nail. Initially I was going to do this on each of my nails but this took forever. So I only did it on one nail on this hand and then I did it on two other nails on my other hand. But what I did was just made little dots with the rhinestone glue and I just took all different sizes of the rhinestones and placed them until the nail was pretty full and I liked the way it looked. After that I just cured it for about 15 to 20 seconds until the rhinestone glue was dry. When you add your top coat next you do want to make sure you're adding a decent amount of the top coat um, to cover the rhinestones fully just to make sure they stay as long as possible and don't come popping off. This next nail, I'm just adding some glitter to it. So I'm taking a little bit of top coat and then I'm just taking a brush to apply some dry glitter to it and then just go ahead and cure it. For this next nail, I got these Kiyu butterflies. Um, I believe I got them on AliExpress or Amazon. I'm not too sure, but of course it'll be linked down below. And I'm just using a little tweezers to gently pull the sticker. This you can just stick on your nail and apply a top coat to it. Very simple, very easy. And my pinky was the last nail that I added something to. I just added some cute little rhinestones by the cuticle area. And I left my thumb just plain. And I'm going to go ahead and add a top coat, a generous amount, and go ahead and cure it. Make sure it's completely dry. And then this hand will be finished. And this is my favorite part about doing my own nails is doing a little freestyle design and making it your own. This is the fun part of it. The other part is the work, the filing, the applying is all the work and then this is the fun part. And the nails that I did, the rhinestones, spread out all over the nail. These were my favorite on this set. Um, again, initially I was going in and planned to do every nail like this, but it just took so long and I was already up super late, so I just decided to switch it up a bit, but the set still came out cute nonetheless. <laughs> And I'm just finishing it off with the top coat, especially on the nails that have the rhinestones. I also like to add the top coat underneath my nail as well. Um, I just like that sleek shine finish. And last but not least, I'm going in with some cuticle oil on my cuticles to get rid of those little crusty dry parts and make them look extra nice. 
Um, this set turned out amazing. Like I said, I loved it. They lasted a good week and then I'm not sure if you've seen my latest video, but your girl dyed her hair orange and they left this stain to my nails which did kind of ruin them um it was a bummer but that's okay i'll do another cute one soon yes honey look at how cute they turned out i'm obsessed with the color i'm so glad i ordered it i did see another video of somebody using the light apricot color and it's just a super cute classy pretty light pink so i had to get it if you liked how these nails turned out and also enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below any questions or just say hi. My social media always linked down below. Make sure to follow me on my social media to see me more outside of YouTube. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also the post notification bell so you can get notified on my upcoming content. We are on the road to 3K in under a year, so we're growing, we're glowing, we're going to continue this journey. Thank you for supporting, and until next time, beauties, bye.